Hello everyone, welcome back to Skill Deck channel. My name is Richa. I'm back again with the next video. Today we are going to talk about Boolean search. Yes, we are going to see the base of recruitment that's Boolean. We are going to learn how to make the Boolean and in the part two of this video, we are going to see the different tools which will help us to make our Boolean searches effectively and quickly. Today, I am in this video, I will be teaching you what are the Boolean operators, how to make a Boolean and also I will be giving you a sheet access to create a Boolean quickly. Boolean is the base of any recruitment. If you don't know Boolean, you won't be able to do the effective sourcing. So this video is just about the Boolean. Over one video I already created before about the Boolean, but this is an updated video on the Boolean. And now let's go and let's start learning. Before that, I'm ju I just want to remind you all to not forget to subscribe the channel, hit like, comment, share and keep commenting and let me know what are the other topics you want me to record on. I'll be waiting for your comments. Now this is the time. Let's go and let's start learning. Today we are exploring a game changer in the recruitment world, Boolean logic. And we are going to learn how it can supercharge our candidate sourcing efforts. So let's get started. Let's understand what is a Boolean and how it works. In the simplest terms, Boolean logic uses operators like and, or, not to combine keywords and phrases in searches. These operators help to refine our search results, making it easier to find exactly what we are looking at. Now, if I know the Boolean, searching from the database makes the things easier. So if I'm, it's a monster, I'm coming here and I'm opening the Boolean search here. If I'm looking for PHP and Java, so and is my Boolean operator, what I'm using it here. I'm looking for either Java or JavaScript. Whenever I have to do the comparison, a same type of keywords, I'll put it in the parenthesis called as brackets. I'm looking for PHP developer with Java or JavaScript. So PHP developer and that has to be in quotes. Why quotes? Because if you want the same exact phrase, exact keyword, you need to put that in quotes and will narrow your search by including that particular keyword or is expand your search to include the specific term Java or Python. Not we use if I don't want, I want to avoid certain results. And quotes I will use if I want the same exact keyword. And parenthesis to group the same type of keywords. These are the Boolean operators and Boolean operators will help to get the data out from any database. Again, I'm repeating and or not quotes and parentheses. Quotes for exact phrases, parentheses for grouping. And if you want that keyword to be included or for either not, if you don't need that particular keyword. When you are a beginner in the Boolean, sometimes we are confused that how do I start with the Boolean? Because if I don't know the Boolean, if I'll I'll search just by a one keyword, I will get a lot of black profiles. Black profile means a hidden profiles. There will be a hidden profiles. So if I don't know how to make a Boolean, you need to remember that Boolean always will come with the title, synonyms of title and skill set. Title is your designation, the main thing what you're looking for. And why do we need a synonyms? Could be you're looking for HR manager in another company. HR manager is called as human resources head. It could be called as people manager. So if you are not looking the synonyms, you are missing the profile. And there could be another scenario also. The synonyms are there. But the work what that person is doing could be different also. So we need to mention the skill sets also what we need. The Boolean is always with the combination of title synonyms of title and skill set then you can further filter with location industry experience gender that is all through the filters you can do when we make a boolean boolean always has to be with title synonyms of title and 
skill set. So I will be giving you this sheet, what you are able to see on your screen, that will help to build the Boolean quickly. So let's say I'm looking for a HR manager. So my title is HR manager. After the title, I, I said like, okay, we will look for the synonyms. So what will be the synonyms of HR manager? People manager, HR head, human resources manager, HRBP in some organization. So title, synonyms of title below that. Now, whatever the compulsory keywords are there that you can put it in the column number D, E, F and what are good to have that you can write it below. Let's say I want the HR manager to know talent acquisition. That's my compulsory keyword. And I want either payroll or labor law keyword to be written there. Now, see it here in row number four. Do we have our Boolean ready? Copy the Boolean. Put it in your database, uh, wherever you are in your DBMS or your paid portal, Nokri, Monster. You can use this in the LinkedIn also and search. Now go to search. Boolean. Whatever the Boolean we have copied. Search. And here we have a result. Now experience, location, salary, notice period, age. For that you have a filters. Boolean should always be, be with the combination of title, synonyms of title and skill set. You can use this sheet to create a Boolean quickly. So in this video, we have learned what is a Boolean, how I can make a Boolean, what are the different Boolean operators and how the Boolean is helpful to get the data out. In the next video, we are going to talk about the how what are the tools which will help me to make a boolean quickly what is a linkedin boolean how it will work whether linkedin allow a same boolean to work in the linkedin for free these all things we are going to learn in part two of this video if you have liked today's video hit like share comment keep sharing the channel with the hr fraternity i'll see you in our next video bye then take care bye bye